How's it going guys? My name is Micah and this is going to be the 18th video in this 2D iPhone game programming series. In this video we are going to cover the high score label so it is going to be going up right here um, and it's going to update itself every time we score a score higher than our high score. So to start we're going to go into our Mycene implementation file and we're going to kind of organize this again. I'm going to create a new method called uh, load score labels and this is just where we're going to load up our points label and um, create our high score label and I'm going to just put in the self load score labels right here just so I don't forget it like I um, did last time with the load clouds method so we're going to create a new label the high score label is going to be an instance of the ML points label as well so we're going to do high score label equals ML points label, points label with font named game fonts. And um, we're going to name this. So it's going to be high score label dot name equals high score label. So I think in our um, ML points label, it looks like I set the name property in here to points label. Um, I probably shouldn't have done that just because we are using the ML points label as a points label and the high score label. So I'm going to take that out, go back into the MyScene implementation file, and we're going to just set the name of it right here. Just to be clear that you can use the ML points label for more than one, um, more than one of these labels. So now we're going to do the high score label dot position equals CG point make. We're going to put this at 200 instead of minus 200 with a height of 100. Add this to our scene and we get our high score label. So cool, now we're just gonna have, if we run this, we're just gonna have two, um, two points labels. They're just gonna both be zero. Um, awesome. So to distinguish between the points label and the high score label, we wanna kind of uh, let the user know that this is the high score label. So we're gonna put a little label next to this called best. So this is gonna be pretty standard. We're gonna do high label. Oh no, actually, no, we're gonna best label. Like I like the word best more than high. Um, I don't know why, but SK label node, same kind of deal. Label node with font named game font. We are going to set this guy's font size to be about 16, and that's just a guess. Um, we can always change it afterwards. And we're going to set this best label dot position equal to CG point make, let's say um, minus 30, zero. Because we're going to be adding the best label to our high score label, we are going to be, po be positioning it within the high score labels coordinate system. So it's going to start from the center of that high score label. So we'll do high score label, add child, best label. And we will rerun this. And it looks like we actually didn't set our text for our best label, so nothing's gonna show up if you don't do that. So best label.txt equals best. And now we should have this running and good to go. So you can see now that the little best category is right there. I'm going to move it over a little bit more. Um, let's say I'm just gonna put it at 38. And um, then we're just going to, we're just gonna call that good for our label. You can raise it up a little bit so it's completely centered, but um, having it kind of aligned at the bottom of that number there is good enough for me. So cool, now when we uh, actually hit one of those blocks and hit the game over method, we want to update that high score label if our points label is higher than the high score label. So we're gonna create a new method and it's going to be the update high score method. So we will just type that out, then we will create the update high score method. And um, so what this is gonna do, first we wanna do, we wanna grab our points labels. So this is gonna be the points label equals ML points label, uh, self child known with name points label. So this is just gonna grab the labels that we created before. And then the high score label going to be the same kind of deal self child node with name high score label so now we're going to check if 
the points labels number is higher than the high score labels number. So if points label dot number is greater than high score label dot number, we are going to want to set the points of the high score label. If you remember in our ML points method, ML points label class, we created this set points method. This is where we're going to actually use this. So we're going to do, um, if this is true, we're going to do high score label set points. Uh, let's make sure we put this in our header file. It looks like we did not, so we can't actually access that. So now we're going, so we want to put the set points as well as the, um, the reset method into our header file. Now this reset method, because, uh, because we just presented a new scene in our clear method uh, to our SK view, we're not actually going to have to use this because um, it basically just reinitializes an ML points label. It's always good to have a reset method though in most of your classes just um, just to have a complete implementation. It's kind of just good to have the method that resets everything. So now we have those in there. We can go back into our my scene. Our set points method should work now and we're going to set it to points label dot number if the points label has a higher number than our high score label. So we're going to run this And you're gonna see that we're gonna jump over. We have one points, two points, cool. And now we um, hit game over. The best label gets updated and awesome. So that all looks great until you hit the tap to reset deal going on here. Cause you see that it totally resets everything. And um, it's like our best high score was never saved. So to save this high score, we're actually going to need to work with some, um, some game data. So in our next video, uh, I'm going to go over saving and loading data. So even if you close out of this, and um, we're gonna have to black some of that out. <laughs> uh, after you close this, and you go back into this hop hero deal, um, you'll see that the best high score is saved. So with that, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.